Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. It looks like the end is coming. Not only is it sudden death here, but my poor paladin, who started out just like you would a normal arena run, has now wandered into something akin to the end times, because I think a lot of my Goblins vs. Gnome cards, as of right now, no longer exist in the arena, whereas any new arena decks I run into could be full of cards from the Whispers of the Old Gods, which I, I'm sure is not going to help my situation. But I don't know, this deck was barely hanging on in the old version, and maybe my crazy old cards will overpower the new stuff? My, honestly, my best hope at this point is that people don't have a good feel for what's good and what's not in the Whispers of the Old Gods environment. And maybe I can mess with them because I have old stuff. I don't. I don't think it's going to work out that way. I, I don't think so. I think I'm going to have problems. Next arena run is going to be with the new set. Should be putting out videos describing the new cards fairly soon. Possibly. The, uh, the first one should be out by the time you're watching this, at the very least. It really kills my voice, though. If you have been squelched, I do not have a turn to play, so fight me. I'm not coining out a reserves. Hey, it is new cards already. This is a pretty good one. It's just like a Tidefin Murloc, right? You get a 2-1 for 2, and you get a 1-1. One, one. In this case, it's a 1-1 one, one taunt that is not a Murloc. So the Tidefin has the advantage that it gives you a 1-1 one, one that's also a Murloc, if you care about Murlocs. If you don't care about Murlocs, this seems pretty good that you're getting another minion who hmm, has taunt instead. Now, I could waste my crazy Aldor Peacekeeper power to nerf that guy, and then my opponent would have to stab to kill him and finish him off. It's not seeming unreasonable right now, but I think I'm better off. I've got this to kill something. Neither of those guys has more than one hit point. I'm just going to try with this for now. Probably dumb, but I'm going to save my coin. Maybe I can turn five Murlocify. Of course, I want this Murloc dead by then. Well, now I know what card he's doing. Although, since this guy didn't get stabbed, which would, my, my plan has never factored in the possibility of him not being stabbed. So hold on. I think I'm going to take the damage and sword the sword, and then come out with... Yeah. And then that mm. thing will be gone and out of the way, and I'll get an extra card, and everything will be happy. Everything will not be happy. But I, I'm thinking I want to sword that, as opposed to have, leaving a 1-4 out there that would be fine. I mean, I could do that. I could kill the taunt play this guy, that thing would just be a 1-4. I think it would cause problems. I still gotta kill it at some point. Let's just kill it now. I will take a little extra damage this way. Or would my opponent spend the stuff to kill him with the... Save the coin. And if it's a 1-4, I'll take less damage from killing it. Uh, well, I'm doing this anyway. No, let, let, let's just get rid of it. I don't want to screw around. Justice. Yeah. This guy is super, super good, though. I am a big fan of him. As a non-Murloc player, that is an, a really good two-drop. Whether your deck is more offensive or not. If your deck's more defensive, it's a taunt. There happens to be two minions that can split up and kill more things, like... It's very good. I am not a morning person. Taunt may not be, like, everyone's favorite ability ever, but... On top of what the arena's are doing. Ah! Okay, well, that's painful. That is blatantly against my the rules. As defined by me, this second. Let's see what champions do. So... Follow the damn rules. For justice. Yeah. For justice follow the rules. And got the mana, I'm gonna play this guy, even though he's doomed. Being down by ten already is not good. Although I have lots of cards. 
for the Lich King! Yeah. So that's unpleasant. Ah! Are you leaving Obey the Rules alive? Because he can seal of kick your ass. I'm in favor of seal of kick your ass, I think. And I think Shield Bot. That 1 1 is buffable to. It wouldn't take much for that 1 1 to help kill my 6 3 now, but I'm going to take that risk. Rather, like, I could have Seal of Lighted that thing. I don't think it's worth it to kill a 1 1, even though the board control would have been really sweet. Seal of Champion, though. Amazing. What's this, like, oh any time? Or? Um, so. So your plan is to not kill the 6-3. Okay. I can work with this, I think. Avenge! A little late there. Um, now, Seal Champions won't actually kill that guy. So he's going to be around to do this. I can, technically, I could stealth him afterwards, which is pretty ass. But, uh, hmm. I could also Murlocify, then I'd be doing nothing mm. to protect him. So I think I'm going to play Spiteful Smith here. He's tough. I don't really need to protect the tiger right now. I think just getting him out and having him be out there and tough is fine. I think I am going to stealth my 6-3, because it just seems in no... Well... No, I'll, I'll put out the Avenge. It'll work out either way. But I'm not going to kill that guy. Even though I would like board control, I also like hitting for 6. She might take another six if she wanted to just use her guy plus the dagger to kill. Wow. That is some serious damage there. I get the Avenge. Now he's very big. Do you have an assassinate? I'm guessing. You probably figure I have an Avenge. Maybe not, because it's out of the format now. That was in uh, Noxramus, I think. Noxramus oh. is out. Oh! Kicking it? Oh, screw Even though you're the one who's have old gods, but whatever. Another victory for Paladin Kind. Let's see if I can roll through here and see if... I don't think I have crazy enough or enough crazy old cards that it gives me a real advantage, but people may be at a little bit of a disadvantage in terms of not being used to the card pool they're choosing from. I, I don't think I'm going to get too far, but it would be hilarious if I did. It reminds me of back when I actually played Luther World of Warcraft. I think it broke, really? Valera. Reminds me of act back when I played World of Warcraft. When I was, in fact, a knight of most honor. of the time. I don't know how that happened. It was not what I would have expected me to pick as a main. I'm going to pitch the Blessing of Might. I don't need that this early game. Mind Control Tech I'm fine with because I'm not as confident in my casting cost curve. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I know there was a time when they, they have... They have the arena where you, like, a little bit like this. It's like player versus player. It, it, that has nothing to do with this arena format, other than name. But you go and you do PvP stuff in the arena, blah, blah, blah. Or they're also, yeah, it was, this wasn't even an arena. This was just, like, player versus player battlegrounds. Where you go in and fight a whole bunch and stuff like that. And they were broken down characters from, like, level mm. 10 to 19, 20 to 29, etc. Up to, at the time, 50 to 59. Because when you when you hit that next ten, often you got a major significant power of some kind, and they just figured that was a good break point for like having a big enough level range that you could get enough people without some of them being just blatantly ridiculously too powerful. But as a new expansion had come out. I had just gone around enough to, like, I was just barely high enough level to get into the expansion area. I had gone around just enough to get a little bit of, uh, I may actually lance this for once. Should probably just play him. It's tempting to lance and then put out the redemption, because this guy is one of the best targets for the redemption, but no, I am actually going to put out the guy. Having more guys is pretty good. So here it is. There's a new expansion. So I've gone ahead to the expansion area and collected some of that gear that was available. So I've drastically increased my gear over anyone else who was in my lower level bracket. Because the new expansions opened up levels above 60. 
yeah. and they're like 59 or whatever. And then I go and join the queue and enter into a battleground. I like turned in a quest while I was waiting for it to start, and I leveled up to 60. So I was a level 60 in the battleground where no one else should be above level 59. And just to magnify the obnoxiousness of this situation, so let's see what I got from Joe's here. No, I did not win that joust. For justice. Tempting to put out the redemption there before I make a crummy one one, but we'll see. So now I'm higher level. When when they look at my level, they're like, "That character is higher level. That person should not be in this battleground at all. It is not right." And I happen to have a build which was based on doing explosive damage up front, like just like a ton of front loaded damage and then sort of if they and then hope I could finish them off after that. Well, against l players who are lower level and there there was some poor sap in the battleground who was near the bottom of the level range, he was like level 50, and I'm level That's 60, nice. I'm 10 levels higher than him and my build is to do front loaded like mega atomic damage. That was messed up. That was just so ridiculously unfair. This situation is not great, because I'd have to trade my whole army and my sword, my crappy lance, to get through that. And then I can play Keeper of mm. Crappy Secrets and stuff. I don't think I don't think there's much alternative since I don't actually have my like clutching of whatever. I don't think I can do any better than that. So I'm just gonna do that. Board control it up. Play a dude. I'm gonna play redemption, why not? It'll probably backfire. She'll probably not kill her. And then I'll play like Murloc Knight and have like get like a crappy one one and then that'll die first and whatever. But yeah, so I was level sixty with this accidentally noob stomping build, and this poor guy on the other team who's literally ten levels lower than me is like wandered out there, and so as a rogue I'd be like stealth walking around. So basically, this person goes out and finds like a, an objective that nobody's fighting over, and they like hang out there. And they're like, okay. I'm gonna get this flag, and then I'm stealth. I teleport in while stealth, ambush them, hit them for an amount of damage which, like, it would crit like 60% of the time, and even if it didn't crit, it was doing like their entire hit points. So I would like hit them for twice their hit points generally, and they instantly die, and then I'm like, there. And I'm like, hi. Mm. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I'd really like to seal of light that guy, but I can't do everything in one turn. I'm probably just gonna trade her. Unless I get a blue fill. Blue fill? No. Or blue fill. Okay. Board control it is. That was just like, it's funny, this just reminds me of that situation. But I don't have anywhere near that kind of advantage here just because I have some older cards. Come close. They have older gods. Uh, this could be worse because uh, that is really unfortunate for me, but it does appear that you're not killing the Murloc Knight right this second, so I can try and work with this. Sneeze Old Shredder, that's good. Can't do it right now. So I can make another Murloc, and I won't be able to deal with this, but I can stealth my guy. Or I could not make another Murloc. I could just kill that and then play this and stealth my guy. That, that's okay too, actually. Let's maybe hmm. do that. Even though I'm not getting a Murloc out of him this turn, he can still kill that, and... Because the Murloc I get is probably not going to be as good as the Pile of Sky Golem that I want to cast. And I can't do that and this, so, yeah. Stoked until end of turn. This kind of thing, not this specifically, because it would be pretty hard to arrange in a rogue deck, but this kind of thing is why the rogue, like, Master of Disguise got nerfed so that her her she comes into play and she stealths a friendly thing. It, and that only lasts one turn. Bite me. Just, by the way, bite me. That's pretty annoying. So I only got one Murloc out of him after spending all that effort on him. And I'm probably going to have to trade this to kill that, although I'll get a guy and then I'll have Sneeze Shredder. When he dies, he gives any minions he has around at the time plus one plus one. He's pretty terrible. That's not to say he can't possibly work out to be beneficial for her, but he is terrible. 
Um, I should probably just place needs old shredder, but I like the idea of keeping this thing at full size and yeah. So I am actually going to just do this. Just controlling the board. So two attack, kill that. You get nothing for his death rattle, which is actually par for the course. Usually you might get plus one, but you kill things in whatever order you want, usually. So yeah, now I have an army. And if you vanish, I can use him again. Okay. Shush. Shush. Greetings from beyond the grave. Yeah, I like that guy. He's cool. He just I haven't been playing him much because he doesn't actually work out to be that great as it seems, but he is cool. Greetings from some big stuff. I am less concerned with your army right this second. I have some big stuff. And having another peacekeeper is pretty awesome. Peacekeeper is good, it turns out. Behold the might of storm Ooh, wind. behold. That's pretty annoying. I will grant that that was annoying. Oh. Kill him and then make a dagger so your guy has more than one hit point. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're killing him, actually, but your health is low. However, I can't kill you guys. Oh, I can do that. I should probably be killing you, but I'm I can't seal the deal right now, so we're gonna do that. Kill him. We're gonna shrink him. I could have taken less damage on Sneed, but since part of his power is, like, something good happens if he dies, and he's still big enough to be okay in the current surroundings here, this guy's going to be alive longer since I wasn't going to have time to kill him, so let's do that. Assassinating Sneed. Interesting. King Crush! That's pretty decent. And commit suicide because you know you're bone. I am a survivor of the times before all of you were warped. You are all impure, and I must save the world from Cthulhu. It's not going to happen, but this run will continue next time. Please click the like button, though there may be a small chance of lycanthropy. Just make sure the only animals around are good ones. You don't want to become like a were-toad or were-gerbil or something. And check out our dorky, argumentative anime reviews on Enemy Indecision.